Okay, so now we're here with Kristen Siebeneicher, the Communications Director, and Caitlin Turry, Public Relations Supervisor of, here at Six Flags Great Adventure. And this is the biggest and scariest Fright Fest ever for you guys, right? Absolutely. We have been waiting our whole careers for this <laughs> biggest and scariest ever. Right. Well, you have more, you know, more haunted houses and tra terror trails than ever before. What are some of the new additions here this year? This year we have Bloodshed, Big Top Terror, Forgotten Carnival, and 3D. Demon District. And Demon District, which is right over here in Movie Town. Yep, that's a scare zone. And then right. Bloodshed and the Forgotten uh, Big Top Terror in 3D, those are terror trails. Right, correct. Doc Swan, who does the magic show by day for kids, transitions to a nighttime show. Oh, okay. And um, where you'll see him doing anything from swallowing swords to eating light bulbs and, you know, sticking uh, nails up his nose and, you know, all those typical things that you would do on a daily basis. He right. just makes them more entertaining. Right. Um, yeah. Yeah, I know I was doing that. We were all doing that just before the interview, right? right? Yeah, kind of appetizers <laughs> before dinner, that sort of thing. Exactly, yeah. yeah. That's what you gave us at the at the <laughs> catered dinner. <laughs> we did. Uh, and, you know, we have a, a circus crew that we bring in that come up from Florida every year, the Winds, and they do three different shows in our uh, boardwalk section, in our Circus Psycho, and they actually have a new act this year as well, which is an incline motorcycle it's a motorcycle on a high wire and oh, wow. it actually there's a person underneath the motorcycle and somebody on it and they're actually flipping around this high wire it is like really breathtaking wow. as if the person standing in the middle of the globe of death with the motorcycles running around them wasn't enough right um, you know we're really amping it up with some new uh, circus acts so yeah. really everywhere you look there's something new happening at Fright Fest right. this year and that's fantastic because there are so many great haunted houses and terror trails so what is your favorite new haunted attraction here um, at Great Adventure since there are so many this year to pick from. Yeah. I think I'd have to say that Big Top Terror is my okay. new favorite trail because clowns are terrifying. So it's <laughs> like it's like an extra challenge to walk through because it's not only a haunted house, right. but there are clowns in there. Yep. And it's in 3D. Yep, and so you're wearing the goggles right. and everything. So they're jumping out at you, the floor is jumping out at you, the ceiling's jumping out at you, the clowns are jumping out at you. Wow. And it's extra terrifying. And then I think my new favorite show is probably Hypnosteria. It's an indoor show. It's running in the afternoon through the evening. Okay. And it's really entertaining. I mean, you're watching these folks volunteer themselves to wind up doing crazy things like putting their pants on backwards and you know <laughs> pretending they're driving a car and swatting flies off their face that aren't there so, and then everyone gathers outside afterwards to watch them all spit their drinks out and things like that so it's really really great cool cool so uh, what is your favorite new haunted attraction here um, I think the bloodshed is my favorite okay. um, you know we uh, we really love the the opportunity to meld people with animals so you know we okay. have incredible makeup artists so you know we've made these half pig half human people a whole yep. species if you will and they are at the bloodshed so there's a you know it's a crazy pig slaughter farm yep. it's very gory there's all these freaks running around uh -huh. who are half human half pigs uh, I mean what's not to like really right. <laughs> <laughs> just another day at Six Flags you know with the glass in our shoes from yeah from that one. exactly <laughs> yeah great <laughs> Great. So, I mean, in addition to all of the impressive new additions here at Fright Fest, because it is the biggest and scariest Fright Fest ever, what are some other guest favorites that are returning this year, such as the Asylum and, waste, and uh, Wasteland? The nighttime stuff, I mean, our Asylum has always been um, a big favorite. Yep. Uh, the Manor, also another favorite. Um, even things like Wasteland and Voodoo Island, we give them a little breath of life every year and, and new scares, new uh, costumes, new Great. prosthetics. Yep designing so everything kind of gets a little boost you know we really listen to our guests and if they're telling us you know this section this corner is a little boring okay fine we're gonna jazz that up we're gonna we're just gonna spruce it Good. up because that really matters right to us. and that's great to see the continual improvement you know to make everything just scarier um, you know here here at Fright Fest that's definitely been a goal is scarier people keep saying they want scarier and then they get mad that they're scared <laughs> so uh, believe it or not people do complain that they got scared it's called Fright Fest well, how when does Fright Fest run, how, you know, weekends, how long, Through what dates? November 1st. So, okay. yep, in October will be Friday nights, Saturdays and Sundays, and here in September we're just Saturdays and Sundays, but starting in October will be Friday nights, and we're also open Columbus Day. Great. Great, great. So, and of course, if you get a 2016 season pass, you get admission to this year's Fright Fest, right? Not just Fright Fest, but the all-new holiday in the park. All-new holiday in the park. <laughs> Fantastic. And all of 2016, and 
unlimited rides on your all new coaster. Yes, total mayhem. We are so excited to have a 4D free fly coaster coming and um, right on the lakefront. It's going to be a beautiful spot. It's going to be a, a crazy ride. Uh, mm -hmm. Caitlin and I are already like getting the Dramamine and Pepto ready for, <laughs> uh, yeah, they're ready to flip and flip and flip. So it's yep. going to be great. That's going to be fantastic. So, so many reasons to get a 2016 season pass with Six Flags and you also get a mission to all of these Six Flags parks. But also new this year, you also have a gold season dining pass, which someone like me who travels to many parks is really great. Uh, what does that get you? It's going to get you dining in all the parks. So all the parks you visit, you can get to enjoy the great dining plan. I mean, what a value. Yeah, fantastic. So Fright Fest, bigger, scarier here at Six Flags Great Adventure. Make sure you come here through November 1st or, um, and experience yep. Fright Fest. So thank you, Caitlin. Thank you, Kristen, for your time. Thank you. It's always a fantastic event. It's always one of my favorite events of the year to come here for Fright Fest. So thank, thank you, you guys. guys. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.